All right, hello everyone, Kyle here, and today we are playing through the recently announced and recently released in Night Springs DLC expansion for Alan Wake 2. I am very excited to do this. Alan Wake 2 being one of my one of my favorite games from last year. Um, between that and Baldur's Gate 3, it was a hard competition for Game of the Year contender. My camera is freaking out. We'll deal with that in a second. But yeah, so Night Springs was announced. It's kind of actually kind of creepy though. My, my camera's like flickering with the horror elements of this. Yeah, I'm really, I'm excited to play this. I just like, I had other plans, other stings I was gonna stream and they're like, and Remedy Games, Sam Lake here to announce. And he's like, all right, uh, drop a Night Springs DLC. I don't know, I don't really got any other intro plans. So let's just hop into it. So there's three episodes. We're gonna start with number one fan, which is Rose. Um, I'm really excited for that. I really like what they did with Rose's character in this game. Where she is unhinged completely, but she's also not wrong. I mean, whether or not Alan Wake was actually soliciting help from her, still, she was like the most helpful fucking person in the game. North Star is Faden, Jesse Faden from Control. And then we got Tim Breaker or Time Breaker from Quantum Break, which I liked in that trailer because they like quoted his line where he's like, no matter what, I'll come back for you. And so I like that they're playing that as a gag. But without further ado, we'll start with this. Warning, are you sure? Loading to the expansion from this menu will overwrite your progress in the existing expansion quit slot. I don't have one. So we're going to go with that. The other thing I was going to check quick was uh, achievements. Because I did 100% this game. So I'm curious to see what new achievements got added. So I can make sure that I get them. But just a quiet time. Let me know if the audio is a little low. I think it should be fine. The dictionary definition of the word is... An enthusiast, a fervent devotee, devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? Uh-oh. If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen. Eminem, you're choosing me to rap with you? you could decipher his secret messages. Uh, I knew you were writing about me and all your songs. What place would you go to save the object of your obsession in... Night Springs. Night Springs. I like Sam... Er, Dorr. William Dorr. Whatever. He's cool. Classic episode. One fan. God, this is so fucking awesome. I love this game. This game is just just so wild. I, Sam Lake and Dale Kojima, just crazy visionaries that just make everything so much better. Our heroes, hero, heroine, heroine, Rose. I'm not gonna lie, she is pretty, and I, I mean. Dreaming for something, and then bam, Margera. Destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. But that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany colored velvet, me, no, me and Mr. Wake are the same does. person. Alan Wake. But they say not to do crazy, but you know, My day didn't start off some exceptions. It began like any other day did. I do like that diner outfit, it's cute. Protector of the town of Night Springs. Can't wait to get the shotgun and start blasting people. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town. Dude, this so there is so was plenty of pink. work to do. I really redid this place. Here's the hope in that uh, this won't be too dark a DLC. This game can get really dark. Oh, everyone's in pink almost. Hi! Eh. Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, for you, ten. I'm, I'm so. Everyone loves me. I'm a hero. Okay. I got all, all of you. Don't worry. I will get you. Dispense really good advice. Well, obviously, I got nothing but really good advice. I got. Here you go, ma'am. 
your birth century. Get that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much. <laughs> you know me, guys. Hard work plus talent. Hard, but also, I'm naturally talented. <laughs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. This is how most of my dreams go. Not with that. Stop comparing yourself. Not with that attitude. That attitude. Stop comparing yourself to me. I'm awesome. Of hash browns, so don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow. That's tough. But fair. Hell yeah. Thank you for telling me exactly what I needed to hear. No problem. That's what I'm here for. Hello, sir. What kind of here advice you would you like with your coffee? Of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joanne. Oh, Chosen Joanne's. Mind. You don't want any optional advice? Here's some optional advice. Uh, that's a good. That's a good jacket. You keep it. Keep it going. It's looking good on you. All right. Who else needs some coffee? You need some coffee, ma'am. Ha. I heard your fan site for that writer was the best fan site in the world. What can I say? I'm as gifted as him. Thanks. It wasn't easy. All right. I like your pink bandana and your I pink hoodie. Have. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. It is just like me and Eminem. I get it. They sure are. Love is in the air, That's folks. But I didn't give enough optional advice. Who needs optional advice? <laughs> Please, I must fulfill all my side quest needs or I will be a failure. And Alan Wake won't come back to love me anymore. You know, it's funny, Alexia, since you're actually, you've played the Dead by Daylight, you have the very minimum experience of Alan Wake. All right, let's, before we go any further, I'm curious. Let's see what kind of trophies we got here. Because, look, see, my, my 100%'s been taken away from me. Night Springs, take the accessories from the kitchen. Okay, we definitely want that. Defeat three haters, <laughs> haters at once with any kind of explosive. Okay, so we like if we get an explosive, we get a gaggle of dudes together. <clears throat> Listen to all the writers' messages. <sighs> I mean, clearly I want to do that. There's three of them, but I also I might have to play through this with a guide again. If it's fun, I don't mind playing through it again. Complete episode number one fan, but I like to just kind of get an idea. So now we know go in the kitchen, defeat three people with an explosive, find the messages. Hopefully we won't miss it. In two tries or less, enter the warehouse office without being caught by coffee mascots. That's for Jesse Faden. <laughs> That's for Jesse. Solve all stashes. Complete episode two, North Star. Read the speed play in the green room. Survive the arcade game reality. That seems like that'd be because they had arcade in uh, control. Travel to a new reality using a Luma Vista TV. Oh, that's cool. Tim Breaker. See, look at that sexy platinum. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. It would be really sad if this was more than. That was nothing Hold on. compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent. Hey. Flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. So much detail. I need to clear the empty pipe. Collect the, the dirty table. dishes. Optional dispense really good advice. I still need to dispense really good advice. Can I come in here yet? Not yet. My allergies are fucking killing me lately. It's driving me crazy. My nose is itchy. Hey, give me your fucking plate, ma'am. Um, I am. I, what other optional good advice am I missing here? Did I not dispense good enough advice, sir? Do you want some advice? Uh, maybe it's. Oh, here we go. I just have to keep going. You know I am. Any advice? Yes, but first. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside that matters, right? No. No, she's right. She wins. Do I do I give advice here or do I just Oh okay, thank you. Oh, uh you need to make an effort. Personality is all that matters. Oof. Oh, <laughs> Go with that. have to put in some effort. It's true. You don't have a jacket with elbow patches. <laughs> one. Elbow patches. Such an Alan Wake thing. Ooh, I love Rose. Thanks a million. You're welcome. Don't mention it. 
This is where I find out she's just schizophrenic and we're just gonna run around murking a bunch of people and it's not gonna be like a dream. She's just kinda crazy. Of course. We're gonna make this our twentieth win in a row. Twentieth win in a row. But yeah, it's like and it said it's only like two and a half hours, which I was like excited. I was excited to play this. I didn't want it to be super long just because it'd be fun to stream through it pretty quickly. But I was thinking expecting like a couple hours each thing, but we'll see how it flows. Maybe it'll maybe it'll make sense it's not super long. Damn. That is impressive. Hear that? You do some yoga lessons, you can beat up a bear. Have our own ways of talking. That's creepy. Okay. Well, they said there's still optional advice, but you know. Maybe that'll happen the rest of it after I take these plates back. Oh, we did it. Alright, cool. Can I borrow you? That sounds what sus. Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all, the town's literature. Every Alan Wake book is the best book. To read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy, I'll grab you a copy from the back. Bro, is this? I do like how pretty this diner is. Too bad it's just her fantasy version of it. Um, employees only. Maybe it's in no this one. Oh, I'm sorry. Go in the bathroom then. Is there a book in here? Can't wait for a cutscene. I gotta blow my itchy ass nose. Stupid. Stupid allergies. Which back are we talking about? Storage, that makes sense. Shoes. Here we go. You better not crease any pages. Is there a manuscript page? Oh look at the kitty cat! A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice and the whole city will hurt. By America's best selling writer. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death will hurt. By America's best-selling writer. Let's try that first. By America's best-selling writer. The only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. <laughs> love will hurt. Oh, Bubba! Bubba Swades. Oh, why can't I make him sing? Two can do it. Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all other sick birds at your bird sanctuary, but if everyone can find a cure for the rare bird lupus, it's you. Yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Is there anything else here? I guess not. How about here? Oh, that dude, that looks like that, uh... Oh, he's got the cat ear things. Looks like the dude from, uh... The Thing? My sister likes, I don't remember the guy's name, I'm sorry. Beat Poetry Night, a Knight's Diner. Ooh, for the literary advancement of Night Springs, every Friday at 8. Oh, this is the Coffee World. Employee of the Decade. Base, in recognition of basically being the best at, like, everything. Presented everyone's favorite waitress. Sick. Don't touch. Alright, where's this fucking book at? Well, she said the crease is like it, the book's in here somewhere. Am I stupid? Is it is it like down here? I don't see anything to pick up. It's my favorite thing about live streaming. It's like when you're you're sitting here just like trying to find something that you're missing and interacting with, and then it's just like something completely different or just in a different room, and then you just feel like an idiot. You're never more stupid than doing something live in front of other people. So it. It had to be in that room, right? Because I can't go anywhere else. Well, I can go back in the bathroom. Clearly, that's where the book is. I didn't check the trash can. And that door's locked. What's my objective? Tend to your customer. Get the novel from storage. I went in storage. Where is this novel? Hello? I Literally, when I interact with this, it says the creases thing. So it has to be on this table. I clicked on these things. Did I not click on one of them? Is that... Oh my god! In your sleep. I'm that was such a guy scary, scary huh? Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh my gosh. That's not scary at all. Don't worry. I 
I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue We must go. The stakes now. have never been higher. I must leave, everyone. I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. So, again, with the... I just fucking smacked that door open again in this game. You have to, like, make sure you click X on anything, not just highlight over it. Otherwise, you sit there and you... I should have remembered that from the base game. There's some good-looking food here. I want one of these pies to go. I could really go for a pie right now. If I wasn't... Girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> oh, there's a fucking chainsaw too. Oh, we're like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. No. She's too shy to make the first move. That's hilarious. Bro, can I have the crossbow at least? Because the crossbow is my favorite gun in this game. Because it fucks. Dude, how many. Dude. I love Rose. I I know that I'll be safe with her. Which must be 12 gauge. Activate shotgun fully automatic mode by holding down R2. Well, there goes some ammo. Hey, can I have more ammo, please? It says holding R2, but I assume that's when you're like shooting. So we got a shit ton of shotgun ammo, leaky propane tank, and then some painkillers. Just yeet this. I do like that I can just use guns in here, like normally you can't. Action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly. And looks good doing it. <laughs> just like me. Oh my god. I was finally ready for a night out on the town. With danger. I love this game. Oh, you got like a shit ton of ammo. See, this is what I love about this. We need to find an explosive. Well, the propane takes an explosive, right? So technically that will help with us. We get three of them together, we blow them up. But the fact that they give us so much ammo, it just means that this is going to be like a, some fun shit. Not like, uh, not just like focus on being like survival, survival horror type thing. Defeat three haters at once with any kind of explosives. I do just love what she calls the haters. Sorry, my people need me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes, my people. I'm gonna... I got it, everyone. Thank you for gathering. I will make you all proud. Woo! I don't know what is. I've never felt so loved in my life. Thank you. That's fair. I will. Hear that, America? We gotta save literature. Look how pretty excited I am. We're ready to go take him down. This beat sounds almost like a weird, like, stand build. And, like, and there goes every I think it just ends. I'm like, I can't get through the door. Okay, we're kicking down doors. Hell yeah. Now the game's gonna have some fun. I'm gonna blow my nose. So that means this is where we're going to meet the dude from uh, the base game where she talks about how she was in love with a, a military man and she couldn't choose between him and her Alan. Unless that is supposed to be just Alan. I thought it was supposed to be the other guy, though, when I saw the trailer. Either way, I'm hyped. Let's get it. Now, who the heck is that? My name's Handsome McHandsome Face. Pleasure. He looks, he's literally just Alan Wake. <laughs> and why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? That's actually fair. Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Wow. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious astrologer. Twin brother. But we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. This is a dream come true. What? No more writer, no more book, no more living <clears throat> in a shadow. That sounds ominous. But you're his brother. I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common, and after you change, 
You can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights. I love this. He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. Damn. You know what they say? What? You can't join him? Beat him. There. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much That's as why they're I called the haters. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. Crappy book. <clears throat> I have love. I have a shotgun. I'm... I have a shotgun. <laughs> well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Hell yeah, it is. It? That's a... I didn't expect that. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Stop all it's like I'm trying to talk hard. Oh my gosh! What the fuck? Hey everyone, come over here please and thank you. I need you. Wait, why'd that blow up? Oh god. Oh my god, I'm... This music's great though. What is hitting me? Is, it... is he still throwing that shit at me? Okay, all right, all right, all right, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, okay, all right. Is there, why is my aiming, is there a fucking lock on going on right now? What difficulty am I on? Normal. But why is this? Control aim assist. When you unaim with weapons flash, I'll adjust the target any more easily. Do I want, I mean, it's a console game, so you want it, but that's, this is getting, this is fucking annoying. Do I have a quick save? Save just now. I'm gonna retry that because that was that was shit. Also the shotgun because the shotgun was okay. Let's try this again and actually play. Oh, there we go. Here we go. No, you were supposed to stand next to it. So I hit three of you with it, you bitch. I definitely think I'm gonna have to try to do these. Uh... Oh wait, I could have led them around to an explosive. That would have been smart. Well, you live and learn. We don't have a lot of hustle in our bustle. Oh, here we go. Come on, folks. Need you to stay there for a second. Where is one more person? There we go. Hello. Can you guys gather up really quick and thank you? Nice dodge, actually, Rose. God, this lock-on is pissing me off. What is happening? All right, we're turning off lock-on. This is, this is fucking stupid. I'm dodging everyone, and I gotta deal with this lock-on. Adapt to triggers. We'll keep adapt to triggers on. But I don't need your lock-on. All right, there we go. Come on, folks. There. Now we can play the game. Not even nothing to worry about, Scary Terry. Now that makes me wonder if I had lock on before in the main campaign. I just don't remember it being this like shitty. Hello, folks. Excuse me. God damn! Shoot the gun! Uh, oh my god. I hate video games sometimes. Only a monster could be blind well, it wouldn't be an Alan Wake game, or a Remedy game, if it wasn't difficult, annoyingly, sometimes. Why die? I felt like I was doing pretty good dodging people. Oh, here we go. Ah! Shoot the fucking things! What's in here? Please and thank you. Get off the boat! Hello, sir. You know what? I know, I'm annoying. Let's put it back on. Let's see if... Because without it, it's fine. It's, it was only more annoying when I was trying to actually aim for something. Oh god! Nice dodge. Excuse me, sir. Did you say Stephen King knockoff? Alright, that's just rude, man. You deserve that. Are you fucking kidding me? I blew myself up? I wasn't that close to it. 
Alright, I'm not gonna lie, I suck. I don't think we're actually gonna beat this. Because I fucking am apparently terrible at shooting games right now. I don't really have the patience, I guess. Give me this! Hello, folks. Let me not blow myself up this time. Thank you. Might as well go around and grab the ammo now before all the people show up and make this annoying. Oh. Alright. Well, then not for you, sir. Ow, dick. Oh my fucking god, are you fucking kidding me? It's like I have a montage of me blowing myself up. So this is why I hate, because then I'm having a good time with the DLC stuff, it's really cool and funny, and then I get to the combat and I just like fucking suck a dick, or the game is just like, anyways, you're dead now. Your face is fucked up, I'm sorry. I don't know what gun to use, usually the rifle's a better gun, but it has more shotgun bullets. But, that's how I feel about most Remedy games. They're like the most annoyingly difficult games for some reason. Like they're always great games, they're just fucking annoying. Like Alan Wake is can be pretty fucking difficult. The Alan Wake 2 wasn't as bad. I'm gonna blow myself up again, I'm not gonna do it. Excuse me. I hit L1! Delayed, I know, but I tried. Give me some kind of credit. There's so many explosive barrels around here to use. And I wanna use them. Nice shot, Rose. See, and then the lock-on makes me lock on to her instead of this, but without the lock-on, hitting fucking headshots sucks. Alright, let's just fucking heal. Nom 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 nom. At least healing is pretty quick, because it's painkillers. Hello, folks. That worked out pretty well. Oh my god. Hi, sir! That's a great question, actually. I also like happy stories sometimes. Come on, folks. Gather around the campfire. Quite literally a campfire. Alright, let's try this. That's actually fucking fun. And the other part is, like, playing through this again will be fun because then you'll know, like, how good supplies are. Because if you know you have a shit ton of ammo, then you can just unload the shotgun on people. All right, we did it. So despite my complaining and dying 17 times, that was pretty fun. The combat can feel really good once you get in a good flow. To All right, never mind. There's someone around. Where you at? Who's yelling? Okay. How are we doing? What was that, sir? I'm coming. Scary and weird. <laughs> my writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere. I figured that maybe near the voices is one of those, like, uh, so much ammo. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, look, it's a love boat, quite literally. You know, I was saying uh, about supplies. I think that I don't need to worry. I have two, 300 shotgun shells. I think... I sh they gave us a rifle, but since the dialogue is all shotgun based, I think we don't need to worry about ammo, so we're gonna go back to having a good time when not stressing about it. I kinda wanna just waste another bullet. We did it. That was fun. Uh, despite my complaining, as I said. We still got two explosives. We still didn't find any of these, like, writing things. Whoops. Don't click on that. <laughs> says is there's listen to three listen to two oh there's we already listened to one oh, okay we'll find another one i wonder if there's anything else around here do we have a map probably not let's quickly check we already checked all these all right let's move through let's go find our lover i mean our writer i always enjoy the dialogue of the enemies so i just like they're just like stephen king knockoff or weird stories this and that the tread pattern immediately to my famously keen perception. Mm -hmm. Is he the ghost rider? Would lead me right to my writer and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. 
All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. Nice. Oh, because if like she died, like she was, she's praying on, she's praying on uh, Alice's downfall. I just like the fucking flaming bike path. Like he's just ghost right. I mean, it's supposed to tell us where to go. More haters. More haters. Come down here. I have so much shotgun ammo. I want to shoot you with. All right. So I guess we'll save a sniper rifle for people that are being little, little snipey bitches over on cliff sides. And then the shotgun will be to just fuck everyone else up because I have almost 400 shotgun shells. Hi, folks. Get in line. Hey, no running. Oh god, we're Popeye in this bitch. Inventory full. So we get like a shit ton of pain colors and shotgun shells. I have so much shotgun ammo. What is this one bullet I have? Hold on, I'm curious. They give us so much shotgun ammo. Kinda want those painkillers just because I have so much shotgun ammo, but at the same time, it's cool to have so much shotgun ammo. I don't think we gotta worry. Rose is, Rose is OP. Rose is, nothing's gonna hurt Rose. I think they should be more scared of Rose than they are. We should be scared of them. Nice try. We don't need a flashlight. We have a shotgun. That was for fun. <laughs> I love it. There's gotta be some secrets up here. Or a dead end. <laughs> this music is fucking bumping. Ah, more shotgun ammo. Don't mind if I do. Also, it's interesting. No, never mind. This is that area. Okay. Oh, the music's ending. Did I hear a helicopter? Why hadn't my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother? He must be waiting until our third or fourth date, surrounded by candles, so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled go. past. Keep trying to explore like there's anything I would be grabbing. Croissant. Third or fourth date. Like we're even we haven't been on one yet because we're too afraid to touch talk to him for some reason. I'm gonna keep going up these trails because there's gonna be something one of these days. And there's never gonna be. Let's row. I miss the music. I was by ooh. More ammo I can't take. But it's a, a message. Monsters continue to plague my dear writer <gasps> with their negative flowers. I would treat them the same way. Bullets caught his breath. This time, I was banning them from life. Damn, that's crazy. If I don't make it, then I just want you to know that I. No. <laughs> I can't say it. Curse my cripplingly sensitive artistic nature. But I love you because you're sensitive. Just hold on. I left the alley told the waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot. Didn't care what he did with that information. I had what I needed. <clears throat> Let's start up here. <clears throat> all the tears of the, all the angels in heaven were falling over the city. She wore the rain like a fun funeral shroud. She was in a sad state, this city of mine. But she was still mine. Excuse me. The filthy prison I called home. I was here for a reason. Joe Bullets Capone. He was inside drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while I stood in the rain smoking a soggy cigarette. But that didn't matter. The only thing that mattered was I knew Bullets had bad night coming his way, and he had no clue. He made me wait for it, though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time Bullets staggered out the back door. I detached myself from the shadows. Stepped up, or steep, yeah, stepped up right beside that pathetic excuse for a man. Long time, Joe. Bullets looked up, his booze-soaked grin twisting into a less friendly, You! 
He reached out for a pistol under his jacket, a six-shooter with the slugs big as my cigarette stubs. I'd done my homework. He barely had the piece out of his holster before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his hands, tossed it behind a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. Gave me one right in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs like a soul leaving a body. Though my wheezing, I could make out the slap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. He had to get after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. He had info I needed. The address of the last stop for this train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could and took off after him. Through the twisting maze of alleyways. Two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe. I caught up to him as he was dropping down the other side of a chain link fence. He sneered his teeth like rows of gray tombstones. He thought he was escaping. He thought he was safe. My body slammed against the fence like a bird against the window. I clutched the thin mendel, scrambled over it, the jagged ends of wires ripping through the sleeves of my leather coat and biting into skin. The pain was welcome. I dropped down the alley and ran like a panther at every blind corner. I expected a trash can, lid to the face. None came. Maybe bullets had liked what he saw in my eyes as I climbed that fence. I bet he wasn't smiling now. Or hadn't liked. Then I had him, a trapped rat trying and failing to, re to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gun with at him. You know what I want, Joe. Bullets let go of the door handle, hands up as they go, beseeching a higher power not to cast him down. Come on, man. Ain't gonna bring your wife back. Can't hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Sure, bullets lunged for his ankle, a crack of lightning from my hand, and he was down in the gutter, clutching his belly. I walked over, calm as snow. I stood over him, watching the putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater. You talk. I call an ambulance. His words are having a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man, insane! I raised my gun, level with his eyes. Try again. Okay, 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 you want the big man, yeah? I know where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Bullets caught his breast, straining against the pain, then spilled his guts. I left the alley, told the waiter on the curb that he had guy had been shot. Didn't care what he did, but that information I had what I needed. Whew. What a story. I have almost, I have over 400 shotgun shells. That's the true story there. <laughs> But hey, we found another message from Alan Wake. We just need to find one more. Alright, where did we come from? We came from over here. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. <clears throat> I'm curious to see Is what... Rider inside? I'm excited to see what the other... Other DLCs are like. Nope. I do kind of like, because it, you know, technically he doesn't have a twin brother, but he does have Scratch. And this Scratch, it's not as entertaining as the Scratch from uh, American Nightmare, but similar idea. I'm going to rock over here now. You can't tell me. You can't force me. I'll be in there in a second. There's got to be something over here. Yes. Just what I needed. More ammo I can't take. <laughs> Actually, maybe I had to run this way. Who knows? It's always good to explore. You son of a bitch. It's coming in! One way or another. Ooh. I do like the ability to just waste bullets because I cannot physically run out of ammo. I think it is impossible. It's kind of like in the original Island Wake, which just kind of makes it feel like his original Island Wake... You just had ammo repos fucking everywhere, so you can never run out, really. <laughs> Look, more shotgun ammo. Sad that they don't give me any rifle ammo. I got, like, no rifle ammo. But it, she's all about the shotgun. Follow the bad boy's trail. Search the cabin. Okay. I did grab that rifle ammo. It was only six, but here's the thing. We don't get a lot of rifle ammo, so we might as well get them while we can. We're never going to run out of shotgun ammo. Fuck your TV. Running with wolves? 
Ooh. Becoming the alpha. <laughs> Everything you need to know to lead your wolf pack like a true alpha. TJ Wolf. Yeah, this tracks. This tracks. I'm coming up. What was the other thing here? Followed by a search cabin. Okay. Which door? Column A or column B? That's probably the way forward. Let's go on this one. Ooh. I guess writing doesn't run in the family. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is done. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? That's fair. That's, all right, that's kind of rude, Rose. He's probably not trying his best. It's a dark ass bathroom. We're coming in. I was never up there. What the fuck? Dick. You're starting to peep me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. Beach. Just out the back. This is so zoomed in. Kidnaps my writer. Half brother. He calls him a tea drinker? He had crossed the line. Get a bell. Where do I get a bell? I'm going to go to that beach yeah. and give One this spoon. jerk the scolding of a lifetime. Dismantling typewriters, A plus psychological damage. Fire might burn my cabin down. Maybe overcomplicating this. I really like this guy. I was never upstairs. Yeah, I'm a fan of him more to be honest. Can I just go out the front door? Yeah. I'm coming, Mr. Bad Boy. The twin said he was down at the beach. Hey, Hi. my bike were just enjoying the view. Oh my god. Where is my writer? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. Bro, tell me or You're else. You're to tell me where he is or else. Or else what, babe? I have a shotgun. You asked for it. You are rude. You have no manners. Damn. Too cool to care attitude is attractive initially. Damn. Drive people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. <laughs> no, stop. I don't like being seen. <laughs> Listen, I never Emotional damage. I was just keeping Distracted while my army of haters storms his mansion. Now Bro. the love of your life is doomed. Doomed. We'll see about that. <laughs> no. no. Oh God. I do enjoy. The wolf is like her transforming in anger. My gun's hungry. What the fuck? Thought I dodged your throw. Ma'am, it's dangerous to throw things. Hot tamales is right. Dude, die! I see why they give you so much shotgun ammo. Cause it, these people, this shot, they are really salient with this shotgun. They can, they can take some bullets. You shot your whole mouth! Stay down! Who else wants some? I'm gonna go grab this. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go grab some of this ammo over here. Screw it. That way I can always make sure I have over 300,000 bullets. Okay, well. Why can't I just. There. Bro, this is so crazy. It is. I didn't even know the UI could go this high for numbers. I'm so used to not having anything in this game. Ooh, some health and some ammo. Hello. Should have known this would be the case when they were like, oh, you can use her uh, auto fire mode. How much? Does that give me four? Oh, that only gives me one. Well, 
Might as well. More the merrier. Good to have some health. We already went over there. We're just going back towards... Ow! I wasn't looking, sir. That's rude. Now this is what you get for that. Oopsie doopsie. Sick dodge, Rose. Hold on, I'm reloading. You took that gut shot like a champ. Not that one so much. Let me go back and get those other painkillers if we're strong by it. Hello. Welcome to the party. <laughs> it's so satisfying. So I'm wondering if the mansion's the old gods of Asgard mansion then. That would make the most sense. Bro, you are resilient. Your face is all messed up. Rose, we need to get your shotgun upgraded. Bam. Now we have two painkillers. Double the painkilling. Someone crashed a truck. Just covered in blood. Oh! <gasps> Don't shoot the deer, Rose. I knew you, my number one fan. That's me. Would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as this is completely normal. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. Thank you, Deer Wake. Alan Deer. Ow! Just My writer believed in me. I could listen to him all day. We, we did it. Spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. We were connected by wheel. Okay. love and destiny. He was meant to be mine always and forever. I just no appreciate that none of this... One who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. These evil haters. All art rested on my shoulders. I appreciate that none of this is the weird to her. Oh, the mansion's kind of pink now, too. Also, Rose Cover in Blood just kind of kind of fits her personality. Hey, bad boy. How's the mansion going? If I have to stop you myself, I will. I just pulled like him. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Gross. Alright, sir, that was kind of rude. There's no such thing. Please drink the painkillers. Good work. Are those like little heart bombs? Am I supposed to shoot these things? It would be nice to find out if I had a quick second to do anything. Alright, hold on. Relax. Okay, yeah. And they are literally hearts. I shot that! Fucking... What is this spread on the shotgun? Oh my god. Stop it, sir! God damn it, why do you have to spend so long time to get your shotgun set up? Top cock in the shot. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You already have hurt me plenty. Stop moving! Shoot, Rose! He do have a heart, that's funny. Get him! Oh my god, he's a werewolf! Bro. No worries. This is Twilight love story now. Oh, I thought I had the shotgun out, I was confused. Come at me, werewolf. Yeah, I kind of knew I was going to take that one.
Hey, sir, stay back. No, not the motorcycle. Uh, the motorcycle's a werewolf. Oh! Nice dodge. Your motorcycle's dead. Excuse me, sir. You have the right to stay down. No. Yeah. I and I, I do get what you're saying. The game looks scary. It definitely is scary. The base game's got some scary atmosphere. This one, this DLC is more of just like fucking insane. Um, but he's supposed to be Alan Wake's twin brother, and I guess he is a werewolf now. And my gun's hungry, and his his bike is also a werewolf. It's just you know some crazy shiz. You know it's Night Springs. All of this is just some fantasies in her mind. I used a lot of healing. I still got a lot of healing left, so we're good. Let's go find that bad boy. What were you cooking, by the way? Why do I got full fucking ammo? Oh, he's he's dead. He, are you okay, sir? I'm sorry for having to put you down like a dog. But you were a werewolf. Go ahead. Okay. Going to kill you? You're my you. darling writer's brother. <clears throat> of course, what's there not to love? I was just jealous of his talent, his money, Fair. his velvety hair, but mostly that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Oh. Oh, you silly werewolf! <laughs> you can have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. It's great advice right there. Showing me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart and it's all my fault. I'll save him. Please, go save him. I will. I intend to. Oh, I intend to. All right. Cue music. There it is. Hello. Can I shoot this door open? A reckoning. a reckoning. I'm storming this castle. Hello, sir. Welcome to the party. I'm going upstairs. Oh god. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm being followed. I need you to get him. Get your ass out of my way! God damn it! I'm gonna die. I don't know how I'm alive, but I'm not going to be alive for a second. I made a mistake by going too far ahead. Come into my hallway so I can funnel you to death. Wait, I have an idea. Kobe. And we're good. Heal. Nothing to it. Do the painkillers full healer? Oh god! Not gonna lie, I hit L1, but I uh, was a little slow on that. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I was going to throw an explosive at you, but you kind of charged me too quickly. Alright, everyone good? We're chill? You have not. My writer would never make a mistake. Oh my god. Your life is a mess! Hey, don't touch that door. Ryder, I'm here for you. My love, I've waited for you to save me. And there he was. <gasps> He's so handsome. After all the fighting, we were finally alone. Oh, kiss. Kiss. This is so cute. In a dazzling display of flames, hell yeah, and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I've been waiting a lifetime to hear. I kiss reflected in his eyes. Alice be damned. I will always be at his side to inspire and.
and protect him. Oh my gosh, she's the one in charge. Now and forever. Amen. After all, <gasps> I am his number one fan. Damn it! They took everything from me. We missed the kiss. That was beautiful. That was glory. And the yes. Of her joy come together against a world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending. The sun. Not for Alice. But Fuck Alice. Like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder. Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell. No, I think that makes it better because she's clinically insane. The night springs. To have her covered in blood just just has that right amount of unhingedness that just glorious love always wins look at that we did it we finished one episode we only have two more Again.